Now in this lecture we will discuss energy of a photon in electron volt. So according to Planck energy of a photon is given by formula H nu. So we have formula E is equals to H nu where E is the energy H is the Planck constant and its value is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule into second. Now nu is the frequency So let us say we also have another formula V is equals to nu times lambda where V is the velocity and nu is the frequency and lambda is the wavelength. Since all electromagnetic radiation moves with a velocity of light so V can be taken as velocity of light and let us represent by C that is C is velocity of light. So now we can write C is equals to nu times lambda or nu is equals to C by lambda. If I plug the value of nu here we will have E is equals to H nu and that is nu is equals to c by lambda so energy is given by hc by lambda now let us say we plug the value of h 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule into second and this multiplied by 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second and this is lambda So we can cancel second. So we will have 6.626 into 3 into 10 to the power 26 minus 26 joule into meter. And this is divided by lambda. Let us say lambda is given in angstrom and lambda is x equals to x angstrom. So we have to write in SI unit that is in meter so I can write x angstrom is equals to x into 10 to the power minus 10 meter. So if I plug this value so I will have 6.626 into 3 10 to the power minus 26 joule into meter and this divided by lambda in angstrom that is x in 10 to the power minus 10 meter. So if I have lambda initially given in angstrom so we converted this into meter now meter goes so we will have 6.626 into 3 and this 10 goes up so we will have 10 to the power minus 16 divided by x we can convert this is in joule we can convert in ev so we have 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule is equals to 1 EV. So we can use this conversion. So we will have basically uh, 1 Joule, 1 is equals to 1 EV divided by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 Joule. So if I use this conversion factor here, so we will have 6.626 into 3 into 10 to the power minus 16 and this is Joule divided by x. Now conversion factor is 1 EV and this divided by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 Joule. So Joule cancels so we will have 6.626 into 3 into 10 to the power plus 3 divided by x and also 1.6 and this is in electron volt. So let us calculate this value. 
so we'll have 6.626 multiplied by 3 and this divided by 1.6 so this is 12.423 so this is 12.423 into 10 to the power 3 divided by x ev or I can write this is around 1 to 4 2 3 because we can multiply by 10 to the power 3 divided by x in ev so we have energy of a photon is sometime this in sort it is written as 1 to 4 0 0 so we can approximately write divided by x electron volt one important point we have that x is taken in angstrom so x is in angstrom and energy that is coming in electron volt so now we can use this formula as a as a thumb rule that is E is equals to if I have energy in E V 12400 divided by X or X I can write as a lambda lambda in angstrom or I can use the same formula lambda in angstrom is equals to 12400 divided by energy in E V let us say if I ask I have a lambda that is given as 300 nanometer what is the energy in electron volt so first task is to convert lambda in angstrom so this is 300 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter or 3000 into 10 to the power minus 10 meter and 10 to the power minus 10 meter is angstrom so we will have lambda is equals to 3000 angstrom so we put the value E is equals to 12400 and divided by lambda so this formula I am using lambda in angstrom that is 3000 so we will have 124 and this divided by 30 so this is 4.13 so energy is 4.13 EV similarly if energy is given we can calculate lambda so let us say example I have a energy of 2 electron volt what is the lambda so I have a photon for energy 2 electron volt what is the lambda so we will use this formula lambda in angstrom is equals to 12400 and this divided by energy in EV so fortunately we have been given energy in EV so lambda in angstrom is equals to 12400 and divided by 2 EV so we will have 6200 so this lambda is coming in angstrom so one now we have so lambda is equals to 6200 angstrom so summary of whole this lecture is I have to calculate energy in EV we can use this formula 12400 divided by lambda and lambda has to be in angstrom if I want to calculate lambda in angstrom we have to use this formula 12400 divided by energy and this time energy has to be in electron volt now this formula is very useful to use because we does not have to calculate H into C every time H into C value is given here